Hi everyone, in this video we are going to continue our conversation around depreciation. Um, I, if you haven't watched the previous video, I highly recommend that. <clears throat> we are going to build on top. Um, we are going to examine um, questions like useful life, percent used up, and remaining useful life. So I'm going to use the same example and ask the question in a different way. Um, when when we are asked a question uh, similar to this, where PP&E gross is hundred thousand dollars and salvage value is zero and depreciation expense is ten thousand, we are asked to calculate the useful life. And assuming this is a straight line depreciation, the way we are going to calculate useful life, the total useful life, I should say, is going to be equal to. The cost minus salvage value divided by depreciation expense. Depreciation expense. So not surprisingly, since we are building, we are doing the same question with it um, in a different format. Useful life in this case is going to be equal to 100,000 minus zero divided by depreciation expense, which we are told is 10,000. The straight line depreciation, the useful life is 10. We knew that uh, from the previous example, which is the same, but this is asking the question differently. Assume you don't know anything about the top part. If you are given uh, the gross value, the cost value, historical value of BP&E. If you're given the salvage value, assuming straight line depreciation, you can calculate the useful life. And then we are going to continue. Um, we are going to assume that accumulated depreciation is 20,000, PP&E gross is 10,000, salvage value uh, $100,000, salvage value is zero. We are going to calculate the percent that is used up. The way we are going to calculate this is um, uh, we are going to take we are going to take the percent used is going to be equal to our hundred thousand. I'm sorry, the accumulated depreciation divided by the 100,000 cost minus the salvage value. So the depreciable base is in the denominator and our accumulated depreciation is uh, in the numerator. If we do that, you find that it's 20%. And in terms of life, we have 10 years we calculated that. 10 years, multiply that by 20%, you are going to see that 2 years has passed by. So this is another way to look at it. We use 20% of that particular uh, equipment. Uh, we can calculate that, but we don't have to look at it here. Uh, it's the same example, but you can calculate it this way as well. And you can calculate the remaining useful life based on this. Now you know the total useful life, 10, minus 2 years passed by. You can calculate the remaining useful life based on the information given here and here. You don't need to know anything about what's given here. You don't need to calculate those. Um, these questions come up uh, based on your uh, knowledge. So you can calculate the remaining useful life this way as well. 